Welcome to our activity where we introduce vectors in e-activity and using geometry strip. We start by going to e-activity which can be found on our menu application here. We want to insert a geometry strip. Let's go to strips, geometry. This could also be done through these palette menu. We want to tap inside the menu to make sure it's active. We can see that because of the bold outline on this window. And we can scroll through our axis options by tapping this button. We can also view our integer grid on and off in here. Now, we want to calculate the dot product of two vectors. So while in E activity, let's go to action, choose vector is dot p. Now to insert a vector here, we're going to turn on our keyboard, go to the 2D tab, go to the calc tab, and insert a vector. Since we're going to be finding the dot product of two vectors, we're going to put a comma after that vector, and insert another one. Now these are the vectors that we want to take the dot product of. So we fill in our numbers. Two, three, four, one. And shut off our keyboard to see our geometry window. We're going to select our first vector, highlighting it, and drag it into our geometry window. Now we see the point up there. If we zoom out, the negative button. Clearly see it right there. And to make this into a vector, we can go up and select the vector button, start at the origin, and go to our point. And we have a vector r. Similarly, we can do this with 4, 1, which is what they ask us to do here. And draw the vector. Great. Now up in the e-activity, we're going to change this line from a text line to a math line with this button. And if we hit exe, we'll evaluate that line and see that the dot product of those two vectors is 11. Then our to select this line, drag it to the next line to copy it. And we're going to move our vector r. To move the head of our vector, we'll select it and drag it to say 6, 4. Then we can, with it selected, click and hold and drag it up to uh, the E activity and it'll insert our vector. We're going to replace the 2, 3 with that. And voila! They ask some questions, exploring the dot product, some background in the dot product, introducing the angles between the vectors, and a link to more of our activities.